So uh, thank you for the opportunity of uh, addressing uh, your, your audience. So welcome to Brussels. Um, my name is Claude Thomas. Uh, I will be in charge of, uh, of the report in the European Parliament on this uh, energy efficiency directive. Uh, so what, uh, what I intend to achieve is uh, one, uh, put uh, fuel poverty as a, a priority uh, into this piece of legislation. It's clear that this very volatile and high energy prices, oil and gas, that uh, it will very much hurt the, uh, those with less income. So we have first to care for them and the public funds must go in priority to, to help this kind of uh, group of population. Uh, and in order to do this, so uh, I think we, we need to find in the directive uh, good wording on financing. So one of the aspects will be uh, access of cohesion uh, fund money uh, for energy efficiency. So I'm, I'm very much in favor of getting rid of this a ridiculous 4% uh, uh, ceiling. Uh, so, uh, and uh, I, I think Commissioner Hahn is right. So, the, the Commissioner in charge of, of uh, cohesion policy, he's right to, to propose probably something around 20%, but also binding so that the money really goes where we need it most. Uh, second, I know that, uh, especially in some Central and Eastern European uh, countries, uh, we need to improve the structures. So I think we, we can probably learn from countries like France, which have a long tradition in, in uh, social housing. And it's clear money alone is not enough. We need also enough people and knowledge at, uh, uh, at, at your organizations, but also in the government to make, this, uh, to make this happen. So that will be two priorities. And if we get it right, I think we will help those who are most in need to get these investments and the, the other thing is of course uh, good investments in the building sector will, will create jobs and it is jobs which are often also really really needed uh, in these days where we have a major economic crisis in Europe so I hope that this, this legislation will be seen as a major step forward for fuel poverty but also for job creation uh, in uh, Europe in, in general. Thank you very much I hope that you have uh, good discussions and, and of course, uh, outside discussions. It's also good to enjoy life and have a nice day in Brussels.